Hi all, welcome to Informatica Support TV. Today we will have a look at the usage of parameter sets with mappings and workflows in Informatica version 10. In this video, I will be covering brief introduction about parameter sets, how to use parameter sets with Informatica mappings and workflows, application deployment with parameter sets, and finally we will have a look at few command line utilities for the parameter set usage. Parameter set is an MRS object that contains list of parameter names and its values. Parameter set is conceptually same as a parameter file. As they are stored in the repository, we no more need a shared file system unlike parameter file when running on a grid. And we need to deploy parameter sets while deploying an application. In this slide, you can see the image of a sample parameter set which I have created from the developer tool. Let's have a quick look at the steps to create a parameter set from the developer tool. When we create a parameter set from the developer, we can associate a mapping or workflow to select the parameters that are already part of the mapping or the workflow in the repository. And also, we can manually add parameters to the parameter set. So as you can see, all the parameters which are associated with the mapping are automatically imported to the parameter set. We can use a parameter set with a mapping, mapping task or workflow. And we can add one or more parameter sets to an application while deploying it from developer. Also, we can add the same parameter set to multiple applications within the repository. After deploying a mapping in an application along with the parameter set, we can run the deployed mapping with the infra cmd run mapping command and hyphen and the hyphen ps option to choose the parameter set. If we want to run mapping with different parameter sets at runtime, we need to ensure that all the parameter sets are deployed as part of the same application. While running the mapping, we can specify which parameter set to use using the hyphen ps option. From the developer tool, this is the way we can verify which all parameter sets are part of this particular application. While deploying a workflow, we need to manually associate the parameter set to the mapping task in the workflow. For mapping task, we cannot add more than one parameter sets and deploy it in the same application. If we want to run with different values for mapping parameters within a mapping task in the workflow, we need to use the infra cmd update parameter set entries commands between the runs. We have a set of command line utilities for the easy of parameter set usage. List parameter sets can be used to list the parameter sets deployed along with an application. Similarly, list parameter set objects and list parameter set entries can be used to list the objects and entries respectively within a parameter set. For managing the values of parameters inside the parameter set, we have three different commands. Add parameter set entries, update parameter set entries and delete parameter set entries. Also here in this slide I have put a sample infra cmd ms run, run mapping command with a hyphen ps option. With this I have come to an end of this video. We would love to hear back from you. Please feel free to write to support at informatica Dot com with your valuable feedback and suggestions. Also, please subscribe to our channel 
For more videos on the latest features available with Informatica. Thank you and have a great day.